Hey everybody, Bobby Camacho with Signature Real Estate Group. Today we're going to be talking about prequal versus pre-approval and who we have perfect to talk to us about that is Shelly Panzarella. Hey Shelly, how are Hi, you? Bob. I'm great. How are you, Bobby? Good, good. And happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. I see you're all festive. I know. We're all decorated do. here with our, we decorated our Zoom camera. Yep. <laughs> you guys can see it. We got lights. Woohoo. We do have holiday lights. Cute. Yes, exactly. So actually we're going to go over pre-approval versus pre-qual and go ahead and uh, take us off to that. Awesome. Well, I get, we get that question a lot, right? What's the difference between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval? Uh, for me, the pre-qualification starts with just very basic information. So it's really just asking a borrower how much income they make, whether it's an hourly salary, what they made net on their um, property tax or on their uh, income tax returns, or if they're retired, what they make from their retirement income. And then I'll ask them general questions as far as their um, credit, what they have as far as um, credit cards, car payments, student loans. Um, and then I'll just ask them in general what their scores look like. And, you know, most of us have those credit apps that we can pull up today. And we'll take that as a basis of um, their credit today. That's what I consider to be a pre-qualification. We'll run through numbers just based off of those numbers. Very preliminary. Once we go into the full pre-approval process, that's actually where we're seeing their pay stubs, their W-2s, their 1099s, or their full tax returns. And then we're also pulling credit and we're looking at their bank statements. One other step that's included in that pre-approval process for most lenders is what we call this automated underwriting system. And so generally, depending or no matter which program you're going through, we will run it through this automated automated underwriting system uh, to just issue that uh, initial pre-approval. For me, that is that is a more solid of a uh, approval versus the pre-qualification, because that again is more general. Here, we're actually validating all the information. We've run credit, so we know that we have an approval and we can actually quote the interest rate based off of that. So I, I always take my clients through the full pre-approval process um, in order for me to give Bobby the uh, pre-approval letter, and then that gives him the green light to go shopping. But the pre-qualification is a great step in just trying to figure out what you qualify for today. So if you're interested in getting pre-qualified or pre-approved, make sure to reach out to Bobby and myself and we'll be happy to take you through that step. Back to you, Bobby. Thank you so much for that information, Shelly. Yes. And when your real estate agent says that you need to get pre-approval, then you talk to your lender. Shelly definitely can help you with all of that. And it's the next, it's the next step. So we do the buyer consultation and then, you know, definitely need to get pre-approved um, before we even shop for houses, because you're going to see something you like. And in this market, they're going so fast. So you definitely want to get that pre-approval, have it in hand, get that offer in there um, and talk to the agent and how you want to handle your offer. And then that way uh, you're up there with uh, everybody else because everybody else has a pre-approval letter as well. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share to our channel. Um, share this information with all your friends and family. Call us, email us, text us, however you want to get a hold of us. We're here to help you in any way possible. And with that said, you guys, Merry Christmas and make it a great day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. Bye.